Hey everybody, it's the 3454 back with another Maple Story video. In the last video, I did some more of this uh, Betsy theme park. I wasn't really into it all that much because I was kind of sad that I was alone. But I'm feeling a bit better now. I might cough a few times because I've been coughing quite a bit today, but uh, anyway. Now we're probably going to complete this quest, and if there's no more quests to do, I'll probably end the uh, session. And uh, then make a new session, where it's going to be like a worked until the limit kind of thing. Where I work, where I pretty much am going to do the very the right thing in the Viking. Like, it's not working until the limit right now, but... Uh, if you don't know where working until the limit is, it's pretty much my... Pretty much my vision of uh, just doing something, but with a limited time. I, I could make it. I could do the very the white thing as a hour of triumph, but there's no guarantee that it's going to take an hour. So I thought I'd do it with to the limit, which is where I, where I work. I give myself a goal, and I give myself an hour to complete that goal. If I do not complete the goal in that time. Why do not? Why do I not have my holding out? Uh, but if I do not complete the task in that time, then I just end the session there. And if I do complete it in that time, then I end it whenever I complete it. I'll probably explain that as well on the video as well. But I've kind of planned this out. And this isn't me trying to buy time while I... Because I don't want to do one for the individual. Actually, yes it is. I'm just trying to do something while I'm, while I'm slowly, like... Encouraging myself to get on the elliptical. So I'm trying to kind of lose weight, and so to do that, twice a day I run and I want to run 500 calories on the elliptical. And I've actually lost a bit of weight. I think I've lost about three pounds. I think it might just be because of uh, like the kind of you know me just having a fluctuation in my weight, but. It makes, it makes me feel like there's actually a chance of me losing weight. So I've been fat ever since, uh, like I broke my arm back in like 2007 or something. I think it was 2007 anyway. It wasn't very, it was very painful. It wasn't very nice for me to... What's this? No, that wasn't it. What is that note thing? I'm not the only one that saw that. Oh, here we go. Magic note. Place this note in the ma magic note in the magic carved together item. The magic note is for the Oh. Here I thought I found something super rare. But it's just another way of them trying to get money out of people. Just like those quill pen things. Ooh, Kaleido Tuban. I like Kaleido Tuban. They get me chairs sometimes. Oh, sometimes I'll have like, like a third level of a coupon. And it will give me like... Like... I'm trying to, remember, I'm trying to think of the word. It will like give me... Tanu Nagi instead of like a chair, which gets me really mad. It's like it's third, it's the third bet. It's like almost the best coupon. I got something better than the most common one. I got something like three steps higher than the most common one, and it gives me Tanu Nagi. Doesn't seem very fair. And I know it's the one I got for free, but still. I'm hoping to try Zakum run sooner or later, like once I reach maybe level, once I can start using hyper skills maybe. I might even be ready to do it now, but I don't want to risk it. Because I'm not supposed to, I'm not like the recommended level to fight the, the, the enemies that are outside of Zakum. And I don't even have a party to do it with. I don't have a lot of friends that play this. And I got Inky, and I got Pinky, and I got whatever the hell Cuddly named itself. But I can't remember these names. I know that one. I know one of them, but I can't.
I didn't, I don't know any of the others. I'm just gonna keep these in my inventory so that if I accidentally pick up one, I don't speak out about it. And then when I'm done killing stuff for fun, I'll probably, uh, just, yeah. So I'm learning how to drive. Like, not too long ago I had a, uh, lesson with my, with an instructor. So, it was, it wasn't very fun, I was pretty scared most of the time. I'm not very good with going fast in a car, at least when it's me that's driving. And maybe it's because we were in the middle of a parking lot where there wasn't very much space to go fast, but still. I'm eventually going to have to learn to not be such a wuss. Because I'm a huge wuss. I don't play any scary game. Like, scariest game I play is Fallout 3. Because I'm actually kind of terrified of that game. Because of the silence. Like, I don't want to run into a mire. I, like, I'm doing that quest for Moira. And, like, it's just so quiet. I think I've explained this before, but it's so quiet and I don't like it, it settles me. And then also you hear the minor legs or kick or kick or whatever it is. Whatever the hell it does when it's just like, it's like, yeah, I don't want to fight it. I actually recently bought Fallout New Vegas and it works amazingly on my computer, but it does not work amazingly when Fax is running. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be doing a let's play of that for a while. I'll hopefully be able to kind of mess with it a bit and get it working. Maybe I could drop the quality settings. So right now I'm on medium quality because that's what it started me as. But I digress. So I was actually reading on the forums a bit, and I saw this post. It kind of got me a bit intrigued. There was a post saying how uh, Nexon should create uh, special, you know, areas for people to train in. Not like the evolution lab, but like places that are specific to certain classes. Like how Mercedes would get a really large map with enemies that give low H has low HP but low also give low experience and drops. And Paladins should have like small maps. That have that have enemies with high HP and get high experience. Like, and there's also in the Mercedes maps they spawn they should spawn quickly so that the Mercedes can get them out quickly. While they should spawn very slowly in, a, in like Paladin maps so that there's, it's kind of balanced, but they still get a they still get their experience. It's kind of intrigued me. I just, I want to see if they actually did that. They probably won't, but I don't think they ever look at the forums. But another idea that they, I think they should implement, like, is something that like involves one person, like all their characters on across the world that they're playing on. Like, you can tell your characters use your buffs, like you can assign certain buffs that your other characters have, like special keys, and you can tell that, and by pressing that key, you'll tell that character to use that buff, or they'll just use it whenever it's needed, stuff like that. Like they kind of have an AI to them, and you can switch characters at any point, and just start playing as a new character. It's probably not going to happen, ever, but it seems like a re that'd be a really cool thing to do, like just a little party quest, where you don't need other people, but rather you need yourself. And it probably would encourage people to buy more uh, uh, characters coupons, so that they will want more, get more characters into the party quest thing. And then they can do, take on higher, higher level, like the higher level ones that give you more experience.
So I recently tried to, I'm not sure if I explained this before, but I actually tried to do a, uh, uh, introduction to MMOs on a, on Combat Arms, it's a game by Nexon, first person shooter. And it's probably a really, it's a really good game if you can get past, like, the millions of hackers that are in the game. Like, seriously, every, like, in the four games I played while I was, while I had it downloaded, at least two of them had hackers that were, like, killing everybody, and then the, everybody's like, kick that hacker, and everybody's like, no, we can't, he has, he, he has, can't be kicked hack. I'm just like, oh, yeah. But, amazingly, we still won both times. Like, we were able to kill enough people, so that, uh, before he could, before he could. That made me happy to know that that's possible to fight back against a hacker. I've shot, you know, you have, they like have all these Japan. They say they have an on-lob hack shield, and I'm assuming that's a really good kind of hack shield, but it doesn't seem to be, really, seem to be working. I mean, I don't see many hackers in people's Story. Like, I haven't seen a hacker in months. Maybe I've seen hackers at some other time but before that, but I don't remember them. Like, I've never seen somebody flying around all glitch like like I used to. But... Anyway, the reason I didn't upload the, uh... Like, the, I didn't do any matches in uh, the introduction video. I just kind of did the tutorial. And I explained how to, like, what the game modes there are. I don't know what this new, uh, on choice is, but... I, Firstly, I don't have a download anymore, so I'm not gonna play it. I might try sudden attack, but anyway. Uh, uh, Combat Arms didn't, uh, what, like, didn't make sound. I could not hear a thing. There was, no matter how much I turned it up, I could not hear anything. Which is why I didn't upload it. I haven't been uploading many videos recently, because, uh, the only videos I have are these uh, theme dungeon ones? I want to complete the theme dungeon before I start uploading, but I might have to break that promise to myself. 